Hi Kathy, so today I'm going to show you how to create a coupon code. Um, all I did was I logged into your account already and I'm on the dashboard. Um, I just did some updates, but... Okay, so this is the dashboard. Um, and the way you create a coupon is you're going to go over to hover over WooCommerce. You're going to go over here to coupons and you're going to click add coupon and if I remember correctly let's see here um, I guess I should have read this real quick before I started this but I plan to order 20% off coffee. Okay, great. So you're going to go over here and we'll say coffee 20. Okay. Um, and then the description is optional, as you can see, but you can say something like um, for a limited time, receive 20% off all coffee orders something like that um, they recently changed this let's see general so the discount is going to be um, a product percentage discount and it's going to be 20% um, there's no tax on coffee we'll just leave it like this and if you wanted to put in an expiration date, just in case you say you were just running this for a month or two and you didn't want to have to worry about remembering to um, turn the date off, you know, you could put it right in here. So I'll just put 14. Um, I'll put this till August 31st. Of course, you can always change that. Yeah, August 31st. Usage restrictions. Is there a minimum amount that they have to spend in order to qualify for the 20% off of the coffee? Um, can this can this coupon be used with other coupons? I'm going to say no, but you can uncheck that. Um, can this coupon be used with sale items? Um, I think if the coffee is already on sale, maybe you don't want to uh, you know, give them another discount. So we'll exclude sale items. Product categories, um, all coffee, and we don't need to put any other restrictions, I don't think. Usage limits, um, usage limit per customer. Just If you only wanted to give out 100 coupons, then you would put 100 in here. If you just want it to be for whoever, um, you know, however many times, then um, then you would leave that blank. Usage limit per user. If you only want the customer to be able to use that coupon once, then or twice or three times, then you put it then you put it in here. Um, if you don't care if that they use it every single time, then you just leave it blank. Um, limit usage to X items. The maximum number of individual items this coupon can apply to when using. Okay, so say they could only get it on uh, two coffees instead of five coffees, but I think we're going to leave all these like this right now. Um, unlimited, apply to all, and, and unlimited. But again, you can go through and change those. The only thing I'm not sure about, because this is a little bit different than before, discount type. Let's, let's test it. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And I'm go to your site. And okay, so let's add this to the cart. Let's add jewelry to the cart. Um, 
And let's do one more coffee. And maybe I'll do add to cart. Okay, so we have a good array of items in here. So let's go to view cart. And here is where I apply my coupon. So I think we called it coffee 20. Let's see what happens. Okay, so $5.18. Does this make sense? Yeah, 20% of 13 is 260, 260. So $5.18. Looks good to me. It didn't take it off of the other products, the necklace and the trio. So um, there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Um, in the meanwhile, I'm just going to go back through, even though you, of course, can rewind this and watch this over and over. But um, it's kind of self-explanatory. So WooCommerce, coupons, what you name up here, um, what you name right here is what the coupon code will be. You can name it whatever you want. And then right here is probably for your description. It may show on certain browsers if somebody were to hover over it. So just make it something, you know, like this. Um, and then just the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. Then you hit update. And um, that's really all you need. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And I will get this to you in a few minutes. Thanks.